All right, guys, just a quick update on my 125 with the fish that had epistylus. Well, I cured the epistylus, but along with it, you get fin and tail rot. And the bigger guys really are the ones that got epistylus. I didn't notice it on the little guys. Well, what a joke. I've been treating them for like, I don't even know how long, over two weeks. The epistylus is cured, but the bigger guys, the two big warus and uh, the big severn, and also one of the geophagus, all them fish are like five years old. And for some reason, they all got fin and tail rot real bad. I'm looking at these guys, I don't see anything on any of them. And they've been in with them for the longest time, but they just don't seem to have anything. So I'm thinking maybe the immune system of the older guys isn't as good as these young guys. These are like probably a year old, most of them, aside, besides from the uh, one geophagus. He's five years old, but everyone else is like a probably a year or younger. So I'm thinking, like I said, the immune system of the big guys is probably not that good. Well, here's what I did. I tried canamycin from sea chem I used it for seven days in the tank and feeding them it when their uh, food soaking their pellets and nothing it didn't go away so then I tried um what the heck is it Mardell Fritz their uh, Marison 2 for seven days in nothing they still had it it wouldn't do anything I'm like what the heck so I actually used that uh, methylene blue as a dip um geez I don't remember the exact I think it was three gallons of water to uh what was it I don't even remember I think three tablespoons was it, or three teaspoons? I don't remember exactly, but it was strong. They say dip the fish in there for like 10 seconds maximum. I did two dips one day apart, and it seemed to slow it down. But it, it's impossible to keep taking out your fish and stressing them out and doing that and putting them in a bucket, and it's uh, hard on them. So I stopped doing that and I also did the salt bath in the tank, a uh, tablespoon per gallon and that seemed to work too. But uh, I got to the point, as you can see they're not in the tank, the big guys, I said this is crazy, it's like I'm stressing everybody out for these four fish. So I took them out, put them in the Oscars, little 20 gallon hospital tank, the little baby Oscars, and I took the Oscars out and put them in a... Uh, plastic tub for now and I'm treating them in the 20 gallon it's kind of small but it's easier to treat and actually it's the only extra little tank I got and I'll let you see them guys they don't look too good it looks like the tail rot I, I'll be honest I never saw anything like it just can't cure I don't know what the heck else to do I even got at one point the UV light that I have and like uh, put it on each side of their tail to see if it would uh, kill the bacteria and that was a few days ago so I don't know what happened but I'll take you to the tank and I'll let you see them and here they are you can see their tails are all crimped and frayed let's see if he turns see that I don't know what else to do. The Warus have that too. This guy not so much. Yeah, you can see it on the end. It's all frayed and chewed off. This guy's bad here. It's hard to see. It's dark, but my geophagus in the back don't look too happy. What I did in this tank, I put the salt. It's 20 gallons. I put 20 tablespoons of salt. They say that should wipe out anything. It's so strong. So we'll see. It's actually real strong. It still looks thick and creamy to water from mixing it. Tank's kind of little, but it'll have to do with its tail. It just keeps chewing up on it and eating them away. I don't know. I tried all these antibiotics. I even tried 
the uh, fish mocks, a moxicillin. It's uh, the first two are, uh, that's hard to explain. The first two antibiotics were for, they had like a better effect on gram negative bacteria, and that's usually what it is, fin and tail rot. It wasn't working, so I tried the fish mox, which is effective on gram positive bacteria. So I tried it for two or three days, and they got a lot worse, so obviously that wasn't the way to go. But like I said, I put them in here. They have the high concentration of salt. And also, I'm putting the can of myosin in here because it seemed to like slow it down. So we'll see. If it don't work, It'll suck to lose all these nice big fish. I had them for five years. It really sucks. I never had like a resistant strain of fin and tail rot like this. It's crazy. And this is how it all started. If you guys remember when I purchased these two. Well, there's only one. One died. The little orange shoulder sever. It's funny. I had a divider in here. And the two of them had epistylis and the fin and tail rot comes with it. And the one on the right, this guy was on the left. All I did was put uh, the two tablespoons of salt in here, two and a half, because it's two and a half gallon. And uh, I used canamycin in, in here too. And guess what? One of them, actually both of them, the uh, epistylis was cured, but the fin and tail rot on the one on the uh, right side just kept eating away, eating away, eating away until it finally got to the flesh of the fish and it died. And this guy, I don't know how it's possible, he had the fin and tail rot and the meds worked on him, so how could it work on one fish and not the other? I don't know. Maybe that's the problem having in the other tank. The other fish in the big 125, the little guys, don't seem to have anything. But then these big guys are like getting shredded apart. So I don't understand it. But I just wanted to update you guys. It don't look good. I hope they pull through, but it just don't look like they're gonna. It looks like it's getting worse and worse, but fingers crossed here. That's the update. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Later.